Wolf, you've seen the carrot of diplomacy being used to encourage regimes like Syria and Iran to join the world community. Here in Jordan, we are getting a look at the military stick that might be used by a coalition if it comes to that. Elite Jordanian troops train to assault a compound. U.S. Special Operations Forces practice a night raid. They can take down an enemy target in two minutes. Nineteen countries have sent 12,000 troops here to Jordan. Commanders say it's all about training. But there are worries unrest in neighboring Syria or tensions over Iran's nuclear program could spark a conflict. Troops here believe the next time they go to war, they will go together. The number one takeaway from this exercise is we are creating partnerships and friendships. Troops train for what they may face on a moment's notice. Uh, aiding uh, refugees in, in a refugee camp, uh, uh, attacking terrorists or safe houses, releasing hostages. Meet U.S. Army Captain Rory. We can't tell you his full name. We can't show you his face because Rory still runs a 12-man commando team. But here he says... The training has been uh, eye-opening. If war was to come here, Navy SEAL Captain Todd Tinsley might be a key player. He already runs a military task force watching the Persian Gulf for trouble from Iran. He says working together isn't just talk. If we got called up to do a uh, contingency, I, I think you would see something similar to what we're doing ex uh, right now. This military exercise is being watched throughout the Middle East, just in case military training becomes a military reality. Wolf?